What's up guys? Uh, this is going to be part one on how to mold your helmets and uh, armor I guess uh, you probably could use the same method but uh, now before we start I just want you guys to know that I'm definite, definitely not an expert on molding. Uh, I've, I've only made one mold here. This is my Fallout New Vegas Ranger helmet mold. It's got a uh, Smoothcast 300 drying inside it right now. And uh, it works, but it's not definitely not perfect, so I'm going to try better on this one uh, now that I lo know a little bit more about it. Um, I think I can do a better job on this, and uh, some of you guys asked me for a tutorial, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, make one while I'm doing this, this helmet here. Uh, so the first thing I did was I just got this old uh, coffee can here, and uh, I stuffed the rag up inside it so the uh, helmet would fit tight on here. and. Uh, that way, I can use some aluminum foil to go up underneath here and create a lip on the uh, mold so that when I apply the silicone, it creates a, like a 90 degree angle so that um, when I'm casting, the edges get strong. Okay, so I have some aluminum foil here. I'm just going to rip off a nice little piece here. like that. And then I'm going to fold it up and I'm just going to put this underneath here. Kind of like just so it creates like a flat edge underneath here. Something like that. So it just creates like a little edge right there so that when I apply the silicone it creates a nice little lip. And I'm going to do that all the way around and uh, I'll come back and show you guys when I get done. Alright guys, so I got my lip here done. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some Ease Release 200 uh, mold release which I got from Smooth On along with the uh, rest of this uh, stuff. So we're just gonna uh, apply a thin coat and that'll help the silicone keep from sticking. So I'm gonna set the camera down over here and I hope you can see it pretty good. And I'm just gonna apply a thin coat, shake this up and apply, apply a coat or two. So it goes on just like spray paint. And it says on the can don't spray it on too thick, so I'm not gonna spray it on too thick. But it works great, I used it on my MCR helmet. And you wanna get it down in here too. So it doesn't stick um, I mean it's aluminum pole, it shouldn't stick too bad, but you just wanna do it anyways. Make sure you have it all covered with a nice thin coat, and you should be done with that. Let me set this aside. Okay, and then we're going to let that sit for like five minutes before we apply our first coat of silicone. So, see you guys in five minutes. Alright guys, so I have my Rebound 25 here opened up and uh, getting ready to pour. Let's see Rebound 25, this is part B here and part A and it's a one-to-one -one mixture uh, so we have two mixing cups marked part A and uh, part B over here and I'm gonna do a total of 14 ounces for uh, each coat of this helmet uh, so it seems to work pretty well actually no I said yeah 14 ounces okay so I have seven ounces of part A and seven ounces of part B, okay? And you're gonna need a disposable uh, brush here. 
if you use latex, the chemicals in those gloves will actually mess up the uh, the Rebound 25 and it won't cure, so make sure you use vinyl gloves. Alright, so I'm going to put the camera back down and I'm going to pour my mixture here. Out. It's going to come out in a big blob and you're going to have to stop before you think you will. And I let it run a little bit. Wipe it off your finger because you don't want to waste the stuff. This stuff's expensive so you don't want to waste any of it. So make sure you wipe it and put some back in here. So I'm going to actually dump some of that back in because I put too much in the cup because it came out really fast. So it doesn't be trash in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add uh, four of my part B here. Just gonna do it the same way. See if I can get it right the first time this time. goes a long ways because uh, I'm just going to use three coats of the uh, 14 ounces here and that's enough to make make my mold here. So I'll put the cat back on here. So I can pour in uh, part 
A over here. It's gonna do the same same way. It seems like part A is a little bit thicker. I don't know why. stuff so you don't really have to worry about it hardening up too much or uh, not really hardening but curing but uh, you still want to you know, go ahead and get, get working with it just so it self levels the way it's supposed to and uh, try to get these one to one ratios fairly good fairly accurate I don't think it has to be like 100% accurate but We got both parts in there. We're just gonna mix it around real good. And do not add any thickener, uh, any kind of thickener to this first batch here because we want this to drip down and seep down into all these details here. Because this is your deep set layer. Okay, sorry about that guys, my camera died. Just as soon as I started mixing this crap. Luckily, I have part of the working time, like I said before, so hopefully, this will be able to get it on there before it decides to cure. Be sure to mix these. Be sure to mix these two parts uh, together completely. Or else you have like sticky spots where it doesn't want to cure.